Hi everyone, in this video I will be installing Bliss OS in a dual boot setup with Windows without using a USB drive or DVD for the install media. I will just be using my single drive on my computer. So first I'm going to download Bliss OS, go to blissos.org and then download. And there's 14, 15, 16 and Zenith. And Zenith is not recommended for daily use. 16 is still in beta. So I'm going to use 15. So download. And then download the ISO. Go to your downloads folder. Select your ISO. Right click and mount or hit enter. Open. And this will mount it as a virtual drive. It's mounted as drive F for me. Right click properties and so this is about two gigabytes open up disk management and so here's my c drive and i'm going to shrink it to make room for the bliss os installation media and also as well as for bliss os itself so i'll do 52 gigabytes 50 gigabytes for bliss and two gigabytes for the iso All right, the space has been made available. Right click, new simple volume, next. And I'm gonna allocate two gigabytes for the ISO. Next, next, FAT32. Now label it as ISO, next, finish. Next, copy all the contents from the F drive to the E drive. Go back into disk management and you no longer need the media. Right click, eject. The next step is to reboot and go into the BIOS. But before I do that, my E drive here is seen as a basic data partition and your BIOS may need to see the partition as an EFI system partition for it to boot. And if so, open up command prompt as administrator, go into disk part, list your disk, select your disk, List partitions, select your two gigabyte partition. For me, it's partition four. Type in help set ID. Scroll up and copy the EFI system partition type in hex. And then type in set ID equals and paste. All right, and we can see in disk management that the partition has been changed to an EFI system partition. And if you want to change it back, you can scroll back up, copy the partition type in hex for basic data partition, type in set ID equals paste, and we see it changes back to the basic data partition. So now I'm gonna reboot my computer and go in the BIOS. Ensure you have secure boot disabled. And in my boot order, it sees that there's another OS or the E drive Bliss OS install media, and it's labeled as UFI OS. And how do I know that? If I go back into Windows, open up command prompt as an admin and run bcd edit forward slash enum firmware, I will see an entry for it. So I'll have to change this. So I'll boot the UFI OS first. All right, so it's booted into the Bliss OS menu. And so I'm gonna go down and select Bliss OS installation. Okay, in this screen, it's asking to select an EFI partition to install the Bliss OS boot files. My first partition here, NVMe0N1P1, is the existing EFI partition that has Windows on it. I will not be selecting this, and I will be creating a new and separate EFI partition for Bliss OS to avoid possible issues later on, as Microsoft is known for removing anything in the EFI partition not related to Windows, which can happen, for example, after a Windows update. So, I'm going to Create Modify Partitions and then select no, continue to CF disk. Go down to free space, select new, partition size, I'm gonna have 512 megabytes. This is for the Bliss OS EFI partition. So it's being created and it's gonna be partition number six. Go to type and then go to the top where it says EFI system. And then next, go down to free space, select new, and then use the remaining space and then select write. Type in yes, and then quit. All right, so it's restarted and hit okay. And so here it's asking to select the partition as the EFI system partition. 
it's going to be partition 6, the one that was just created, 512 megabytes. Hit OK. And then format as FAT32. OK. Keep the default ESP as the label. Yes. And here it's asking to select a partition to install Bliss OS. And then that's going to be partition number 7. And then format it as ext4. OK. And then label it as a default, Bliss OS. Yes. This may take a moment, depending on how large you've made your partition. Would you like the installer to prepare for OTA update? Yes. Here, it's offering two boot options for the OS, Refine and Grub. So Grub is the most common option for dual booting, but Bliss has noted that there may be issues. Refine is not as commonly used, but if you have an issue with Grub, you can use Refine. I will show both options, Grub and Refine. After this screen, the install will be the same, but when restarting your computer, the boot menu will be different. So first going to start with Grub. And here it gives a notice about it detecting a Windows installation and Grub 2 may not be able to detect your Windows installation due to some limitations. Okay. Bliss has been installed, but before I reboot, I'm going to check the boot order. Hit Control Alt plus F2, and this will open up a terminal and I'm going to type in EFI boot manager. So here's the boot order. First is 0000, which is Bliss OS or the Grub boot manager. So that's good. And to ensure that it actually goes into Grub, I'm going to go back into the BIOS to confirm. So hit Control Alt plus F1 to go back and then reboot. So here's my boot order in the BIOS. So even though earlier I saw that Bliss OS should be booted first, it's option number three here. So I will have to change that and make it option number one. And then save changes and reset. Grub comes up if you want to boot into Windows, the options at the bottom. And the first two options are geared mainly for touch screens. So for example, mobile devices. And this second option here with FFmpeg and select it to use the FFmpeg codec, which should provide better media performance. And then you got options three and options four, and this is for PC mode. Since I'm running this on a PC, I will be selecting one of these options. And in this case, I want to use the FFmpeg codec, so I will select the fourth option. Login, smart dock, always, let start, desktop, okay, going to allow, back, back, Select, enable, select, select, enable, back, back, and I can go to the Play Store, sign in. All right, and now I'm going to show you how it is if you use Refine instead of Grub. All right, so once you have Refine Boot Manager boot from the BIOS, and this is what it'll look like. And so you use the arrow keys to move through. And so the first option here is to boot Windows. And this next option will boot the fallback bootloader. It will actually just restart. And this will boot the kernel from the ISO, from the installation media. This would also boot from the ISO. It will boot Grub. This would also boot from the ISO as well. And the last option here, this would actually boot Bliss OS, what we have installed. Scrolling through, this would give information about Refind and your system. And this option here is to manage hidden tags, which I will demonstrate shortly. This option will shut down the computer. This option would reboot the computer. And this option here would go into the BIOS. So to demonstrate manage hidden tags, if I want to hide this option here, hit delete, hide, yes. And we see it has been removed. And if I want to unhide it, go to Manage Hidden Tags, select it, and we see it's restored. Now I'm going to clean this up. So we just have Windows and Bliss. All right, and so we just have Windows and Bliss here. So that's it about Refine. Lastly, a final note about the ISO. Back in Windows, if I go into Disk Management, the E drive here, you may want to delete it, but you will likely run into an issue with actually booting into Bliss OS. So keep the E drive until you decide you no longer want to do a boot with it. So that's it. That's how you can install Bliss OS without a USB drive in a dual boot setup with Windows. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.